Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for September 10th through the 16th. I've been, you know, getting ready to do your reading for probably the last 15 minutes, so I've had a lot of time to think about it and, you know, to just let things go. You know, as I was just getting ready to do it, I was walking around doing things, and I was thinking Aries, 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 so... Anyway, I came in here and I sat down and the first thing I did was cut this deck <laughs> and this is what's on top. So we're going to go talk about that in a minute. And then um, I sat here and I turned the camera on. I thought, oh, we're going to get right into this. We're going to get, it's going to be, it's going to go fast. It's going to go fast. Okay. So then I heard, don't doubt. Don't doubt. Don't ever doubt yourself. Don't doubt your strength. Don't doubt your intuition. It's not worth it. So anyway, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically, I focus on love readings. We are going to see whatever comes up. Um, I'm using the vice versa deck. There's stuff on both sides. Okay, so if you see me shuffling, there's stuff on both sides. So I don't want to hear any stupid comments below about, oh, you did me, 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 me. Keep that shit to yourself. Okay, so... Um, I'm not, I'm not saying that you guys do that, but we got a lot of cross watchers. We got a lot of infants in the, on the channel, so we know we're dealing with that. So anyway, um, this card, five of swords, somebody's been brought to their knees with struggle. Collapsed. I've collapsed. You may be at the point of collapse. I give up. Why? That's what she's saying. Why? I can't keep doing this. I can't keep doing this. You're feeling, you may feel like you're defeated. You've been defeated. But you have the strength to stand up and walk away. You have the strength to say no more. Well, yeah, you do. Okay. Interesting. The tower. No more. <laughs> We're just going to get the next five. Look at them. Major. Major. The goosebumps are coming. Okay. Whatever is happening this week is life changing. It's probably going to be severing ties with somebody that took you down. Okay? So, let me just see where we're at. Okay. So, look at this shit. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> okay, the Five of Swords, the Tower, the Wheel of Fortune, the World, and the Moon. F four out of five. Four out of five are major, major arcanas. Your life is about to change in a very, 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 very big way. It's not something you can avoid. You have
whatever's been going on, it's like this is the time is now. It might be with the new moon. The new moon, the ninth, or the full moon on the 24th. Whatever is happening now has been manifesting over a period of time. Okay, it has. And now there's now it's time for you to start that new phase, to start that new chapter, to begin a transformational cycle in your life because this clears out this is a huge clearing the tower it is going to clear away something that overpowered you that overwhelmed you and it's going to bring you something so much better Now, there could be something that happens at night. Okay, something that happens at night. Because I see all this night. It's going to clear away darkness. It is going to clear away darkness. It's going to open your eyes. Maybe your third eye. Maybe that's what's happening. But it's going to open your eyes, period. To a much better place. Son of a gun, I got the chills. Look at this shit. And I just happened to look what was on the bottom. Judgment. Awakening. An awakening. Answering the call. Giving yourself freely to this new beginning. Freely. You're all naked. Is that you, the emperor? Well, of course it is. Son of a bitch. I wish you could see the goosebumps. I'm done. I'm walking away. I am. You guys are walking away. Could be from a water sign. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be from anybody. I'm just saying it. It's as though... I mean, we have Pisces here as well. So you could be dealing with the Pisces. You could be dealing with... Um, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. You have Scorpio here a couple times. You have yourself. Anyway, I want to get this, make sure this is zoomed in correctly. It's judgment day. It's judgment day. It's time to make that call. Are you ready? Are you ready to release this situation because the opportunity to release this because judgment is release it's karma we have karma and destiny and fate a major new beginning something that's been culminating okay it's been coming and you know it's you know it's been coming all right I know that you know you may have been trying to prevent it. You've been, they may have been trying to escape it. You know, you may have tried to bury these, whatever you knew. Tried to keep it a secret. You know, I know that this is coming, but you may have been trying to hide it for quite some time. Or avoid it. You can't avoid it. It's done. There's no more avoiding it. There's an about to be a major awakening it hurts when it happens, but it allows you to release something that overwhelmed you, okay? So you are turning your back to focus on the future, and that's what's going to happen here. They are going, the universe, because we have all the universe here, I mean, come on now. The universe is here to push you over the edge, to give you that nudge. So be prepared for that nudge. Be prepared to be pushed to a breaking point. Because it's time for you to release and forgive, because this is forgiveness, and accept the truth 
that you can't do something anymore. I can't do this anymore. I'm at the point of collapsing. You win. You both win. When I said that, I was saying, you were saying to him, you win. Him or her. But the real truth is, is you both win. You, you all win. There's no losers in this situation. Whatever you've been holding on to has been totally discontent. I mean, discomforting. I've been so uncomfortable holding on to this. You may have been brooding, not receiving the love and care that you needed, knowing that you deserve more, you want more, trying to get to the point where, you know, you could make a change or whatever it is, but needing that push, definitely needing that push. It looks as though you're ready to move forward. You're ready. You are. No more looking back. I'm not looking back. I'm turning my back. on what I once knew. And you don't need to look at me and I don't need to look at you. You're probably going up. You're going up. Whether you know it or not, you are going up. Your vibration is going up. And the ship that you have been waiting for is really, really, really on the horizon. This isn't what you expect it to be, so don't think that you can figure this one out. This is, this is, you know what it is. I know that you know what it is, but it's going to happen unexpectedly. It's not going to happen the way that you think it's going to happen, okay? It's definitely unexpected, okay? So you know something is coming. That's what I'm saying. You, you've seen this coming, and you probably have it in your head how it's going to go down. That's not how it's going to go down. It's going to go down a different way. That's what I'm trying to say. It looks as though you guys are absolutely turning your back on something. There's no doubt. Look at the backs. Back, 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 back. Okay. Backs. You guys are absolutely backs again. There's no looking back. There's no looking back from here. Like I said, we have these moons, so it could happen around the new moon or the full moon. You guys are about to enter like a whole new life, okay? That's what this is. It's like your life is going to change in, in a positive way. And you may not see it as being positive when this happens or whatever, whatever this type thing is that happens. You might not think it's positive, but it is, okay? You may be a little emotional, okay? You may feel like crying. You may be crying. You may end up feeling like you're a victim here, the Queen of Cups. Or the person you're dealing with may pretend that they're the victim. Who knows, okay? We have a victim mentality, absolutely. And it looks like somebody is deciding, you know what? I'm, I'm stable. 
I'm going to surrender. I'm going to surrender to the light. I'm going to surrender to release what, don't, what release and surrender. Release and surrender. I surrender. That's what I see. I surrender to new beginnings. Anyway, this is a major completion in your life. This one is too. That is divinely guided, okay? There's a divinely guided completion that is coming. It's a completion of a phase. That is going to bring you good, something really, 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 really good with that real fortune. It's not what you think it is, okay? So just, I have to tell you, I mean, it is. I think maybe you guys don't know what it is because there's something where there, it's not what you think, okay? It's not what you think, but you know what it is. It's hard to explain. You probably, like I said, you think you know how it's going to go down. You don't know how it's going to go down. You don't know how it's going to go down. Whatever this is, whatever this completion, this ending, this rude awakening that comes about, okay? There's hidden forces. It's divinely guided, okay? There is. There's something going on right now that's been cooking for a while. Here we Oh my gosh. It's going to allow you to... Oh, we had these before. And that's where I... We had these for Gemini. Um, it's the answer to your call, okay? Call, call. Judgment call, and that's a call, okay? So, there's a judgment call that's going to be made, okay? And... With this judgment call is is like a, it's a completion. It's a, it's a, it's the end of this is death. Okay, it's a death. An old way, an old idea, an old thought. The old you is no more. Okay, but you are going to receive more abundance than you did in this dead-end situation that you've been in, whatever it is. You've been in a dead-end situation. It's done. It's over. It is. It's, it is. This, the, the, you can only go up from here. And like I said, you're going to be going up. I see that you're going up. It's like rock bottom has been hit. It has. They're about to hit rock bottom any fucking minute. Excuse my language. Okay, so they're about to hit the ground. They, they're going to hit the ground and, and they're going to get like a big old, like, uh, like Mary said, a boot in the head. You know, they're going to get a big, old, a big old smack in the head and wake up a different person. Amnesia. <laughs> you know? You know? It's like, boom! Like that. And then comes abundance. Oh, of course. I just tried to change that, too. That was there, so I figured I'd shuffle it. You know, I'd shuffle. That was what, I, what was on top. I figured I'd shuffle it, and then I stopped, and here we go again. Eight, eight of swords. It's obviously a message for you. It's time to break these chains. It's time. I don't know what the what you're chained to. Could be a thought. Okay, it could be. I'm sorry to be so loud. I don't know where that's coming from. It must be this. It could be loud. Whatever this shakeup is, it could be loud because I'm usually not loud for these readings. I am for my lives because I get all worked up, but not for these. For some reason, I've been loud. So just take that as a message. I've been loud for you guys. So that's usually not the case for these. But anyway, so and this could be loud. This, you know, and loud can be defined in a few different ways. Okay. Sometimes there's loud colors. Okay. You know, loud vibrations. Okay. So whatever is this, this or it could be a loud noise. So you got you got every word you got to pick it out, okay? For a reading, there's there's different meanings, okay? Whatever is happening is going to be loud. It's not something that you can ignore, okay? You cannot ignore it because you've been trapped, probably in a safe place. You know you're safe, but super 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 uncomfortable. And it's time. It's time to stand up. Free yourself. 
take the blindfold off and open your eyes to a new you, a new chapter, a new life. A new phase. A new beginning. It's going to be something to celebrate. It's actually going to be a gift. And if you need to let your friends help you, feel free. Maybe you need to get your friends involved. Maybe part of this new beginning is to start dating again if you're single. That could be the case. Maybe you join a dating site if you're single. This could go many different ways. Maybe you need to confide in your friends about whatever this is. Maybe it's just time to celebrate your life, period. Whatever this is, it is a gift. And it's going to bring you peace. It is going to bring you peace. And healing. Okay? So it might, you know, it might be a little freaky at first, but in the end, you're going to be happy. Jeez, some crow. This is amazing. For some of you, it could lead to love, okay? It could lead to love. It could lead to a commitment. When this event happens, maybe somebody comes to help. Maybe it's a friend of a friend of a friend. I don't know. A friend of a friend of a friend. I don't know. Maybe you go, because this is a celebration and this is a celebration. Maybe you go to a celebration, you know, Maybe for somebody else's life. Okay? I don't know. And you meet somebody that you didn't expect. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where this message is coming from, but it's pretty profound. Um, so they're getting stronger. My messages are getting stronger and stronger. It's unbelievable. So anyway... Um, Whatever is happening is going to make you extremely happy. And it is going, it is, at first it's not, no, no. At first it's not going to make you happy. But in the end it is, okay? It's going to be something to celebrate. And I feel as though there is going to be, there could be a reunion, okay? There could be a reunion between you and another person, okay? that you haven't seen in many 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 years and I got the goosebumps this message is coming from above there's there could be a reunion with somebody that you have not seen for many 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 years I don't know where that is coming from but it's coming for you and I feel as though it's something that you have been dreaming of wishing for crying about perhaps maybe you've been you know you've been really let down by another individual and the universe has heard they have and I feel as though the time is now for you to be happy, okay? So I feel like you're headed towards, towards sunlight. You're headed towards happiness. If you think about the sun card, the sun card is extreme bliss. So you could just meet this person this week if you are single. And, it, and you know, down the road it leads to bliss it leads to marriage whatever yeah you guys are headed towards the light I just keep seeing all the light you're you're leaving darkness behind you are um, You're definitely turning your back on a situation. And see, he's got his... He's decided to move forward. 
He's decided to move forward. He's decided that he is ready to face the world. There's no looking back. There's no looking back. Whatever is, is breaking apart loudly, is going to allow you to go wherever you want to go, to go wherever you want to go. Son of a gun. It's letting go of the worry. It's letting go of the paranoia. It's letting go of the, the guilt and the regrets. It's facing them. It's going to force you to face them so that you can move on. There is definitely, it's like a judgment day kind of thing. It is like a judgment day kind of thing. This is like, this is about forgiveness. It's about offering up your true self, your true souls. It's like I'm offering my self to the divine. I mean, that's what I see in this card. It's gonna, this is release the past. That's what Judgment Day is. It's release the past. And, and that's what I saw in this card. It's like, there's no looking back. There's no looking back. Oh, jeez, you girl. So anyway, it's going to allow you to release something that... The shell... You know, it's going to release anything that you couldn't, you know, you may start to forgive again if you hadn't forgiven. You know what I mean? Maybe you'll forgive this person who brought you to your knees. I mean, this is a card of forgiveness so that you can move on freely. Like I said, it's going to happen at night. Whatever happens, like you get this epiphany. This is an epiphany that, you know what? It could be that little or it could be big. Whatever it is, it is going to be big. Even if, There ain't no little situation here. It's going to be big, big because it's going to make you really, 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 really happy. It's like a... You know, all I can say is it's going to be a whole new you. You know what I mean? It's not going to be just a little bit. It's going to be like a whole new outlook, a whole new... My mind just keeps going blank. A whole new perception of life. You know, and I know that many of you are probably not being very optimistic about this. You're probably like, hell no, I'm not changing anything. Well, you just wait and see what happens. Let me see what happens here. Anyway, this could this could bring in a partner if you are single. It really could. It really could. If you are in a partnership now, um, there could be a breakup. I'm just saying. I mean, I have to tell you that because I see severing ties. I do see severing ties. You know where, and it's for the it's for the highest good. And I know that you know some of you probably the cross watchers especially don't want to hear that. But I do see a severing of ties probably for the high. That's what this is. It's severing ties for the highest good. That's what I just heard. That's what this is. That's what I heard. That's what, it's severing ties for the highest good. And when those ties are severed, there's a, there is a op new opportunity here. I know there is. There's new beginnings. There's absolutely no doubt about it. 
There's a, it's a blessing in disguise. It's an absolute blessing, okay, with this card and this card and all these cards. It is absolutely a blessing. So you are about to be blessed with something more, a lot more happy, a lot more happy, a lot of happiness. will come out of this, but you are going to go through, the, through uh, an awakening first, okay? Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. This could have to do with a reunion, okay? There could be even a reconciliation here for some of you. There could. If you, maybe you release the old thoughts. Like I said, when I said thoughts, it could even be a thought that you're releasing. So that you, so that you could, there could be a reunion here. There could be. So, you know, there is a release that brings, it's a blessing. There's a release that becomes a blessing. Okay? So just keep that in mind. That's what I see for today. Or not today, next week, the 10th through, well, this is being recorded on the 6th. So whenever it resonates with you, it's for the 10th through the 16th, but I feel like the new moon has a lot to do with this. Or the full moon, the 9th to the 24th. There could be a reunion with somebody, like I said, you've known long, long, long time ago. And that could be the reconciliation. Maybe you never expected, like I said, you don't know how this is going to go down. Ah, it's all coming to me now. You might think you know who this person is. You might think, oh, the reconciliation is with so-and-so. The reconciliation is not with so-and-so. I mean, that's what I see. The reconciliation was with so-and-so and so-and-so and so. You know what I'm saying? So, 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 a needle. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. This is what I have. This is what I have. You know, let's see what happens. There is, there is a, a, a new life basically unfolding in front of you. It's coming. It's coming. So good luck. Talk to you later.